everyone, it's Gabrielle Carolina from the Lodge Podge Bookshelf. It's Saturday. Welcome back to Totally Book Stuff. on Totally Booksust, we're talking about the character traits that we love or hate in a heroine. I'm going to go a little bit of a I'm a writer on you guys this week and talk about how I kind of learn some things about my heroines because of YA books. I've actually talked about this recently in a blog where I discuss some of my favorite books of the year. In particular, I'm going to talk about Kristen Kishore's Fire. Fire is a really genius heroine. I read Fire at a point when my heroines were truly suffering from something I like to call good cop, bad cop syndrome. <laughs> because they were two such strong heroines, I kind of cut them down the middle and made them two sides of the same one person. I gave them two contradicting attitudes and made all my decisions for them based in either that good cop scenario or the bad cop scenario, depending on who's point of view I was telling the story from. The reason Fire helped me so greatly is because Fire is a really strong young woman who is really beautiful and aware of her own beauty and aware of her own monstrosity in a way and she cries about things. I mean would you expect a heroine like this, this strong girl, to cry? Most heroines who are strong in YA they don't break down about things because I think a lot of authors aren't um, brave enough, like Kristen Kishore, to go into these ambiguous gray areas of their own characters and play on them. But Kristen Kishore was, and I'm truly grateful that she's so brave, because Fire, Fire helped me not to split one personage between two different characters. My two main characters are both very strong women. But they're not, they're no longer good cop, bad cop. I'm finally reading a book that I've written that I like instead of this very typical story I was writing. I would have finished that book and not liked reading my own work, which is very sad, but true. So I would have to say that the thing in Heroines I like the most is their ability to not act exactly as you would believe them capable of acting. I love strong heroines. I love a little selfishness in characters. I think it makes them much more believable and not so pliable. I think selfish characters make stronger choices. Heroines who are a little selfish, or maybe even a lot selfish, make stronger, more interesting choices. Just like there are people who don't like selfish characters, there are people who love them. I'm writing another book and my characters are pretty selfish and I've thought when I get when when I get bad reviews for this book, it'll be about how selfish my characters are and how frustrating that is. But without that quality, none of them would ever make the choices that make the story what it is. And the story is what it is, so there you go. I hope you guys liked this week's video. Welcome to the new year. I'm very excited about it. And I just want to take a moment and say thank you for all your comments on my blog. So, Harmony? I'll see you on Monday. You guys, it snowed. It snowed. See? Look how pretty. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm going to go walk in it. Make me out of I'm, I know that some of you might love Katniss. Katniss. <laughs> okay. We'll try this again. <laughs> <laughs> You're just very frustrating to me.